everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 24 inch canvas. I've already put down my base coat of the um, Blick Mars Black. And here I'm using just a, uh, a cup to uh, make a dirty cup, a dirty open cup pour today on this canvas. And I am using all leftover paints. It's leftover Friday. I usually like to by Friday try and do a pour where I use most of my paints so I get a fresh start the next week. I will list all of my paints in the description for you and I can tell you that all of these paints are mixed with the mix, seven parts of the mix to one part paint. And I don't think I thinned any of them with water. Um, quite a variety of colors I'm using. Um, Amsterdam grayish blue, Parage Posse Snow White, Iridescent Pearl, and Ellie's Evergreen Shimmer. I'm using Arteza Prussian Green, um, Amsterdam Paints Gray and Prussian Blue, Folk Art Color Shift Aqua Flash, Golden Fluid Acrylics Iridescent Copper Fine, Amsterdam Reflex Yellow, uh, Modern Masters Pharaoh's Gold and Blick Titanium White. And here I am getting kind of to the top of that cup. This cup um, holds 10 ounces of paint. I did get this cup from Tracy of Tracy Reed Designs. And um, it's a 3D printed cup and it works really good for pores. Just finishing up there, putting some green at the top, a little bit of blue, and that's that grayish blue there from Amsterdam, and then the darker blue. Just showing you that my cup is pretty full there. Kind of doing what you would call it like a waterfall pour, although I don't really want to list it as that. It's just a dirty cup pour. You can see here the yellow, although unfortunately you're gonna to see towards the end of this video that the yellow did get swallowed up. Matter of fact, a lot of the colors did get swallowed up and the green and the blue pretty much took over. A little bit of white showed up. Here I'm just giving it a quick torch. And as an afterthought, I, I don't know why I put down a black base coat because I didn't leave any negative space at all, but that's okay. I ha also had black paint I needed to use up. Here I'm just doing the tilting process, trying to be mindful of things I wanna keep on the canvas and what I can afford to uh, run off. There is quite a bit of paint on this canvas here. I do like what the mix provides and that is transparency between the layers. And you will see that later on in the video. Just still running some paint off here. Now I think I'm straightening that line out a little bit in the middle taking a look at it and cleaning my hands off. Giving it another quick torch here. I did not get any um, cells come up in this painting. Of course, there is no flow trawl today, just the mix. Here I decided that I could get a, uh, lose a lot of that paint down at that far end, so I am tipping it off. And this was a used canvas, by the way. And what I've discovered is if I just take a hand sander and I lightly sand my canvases I'd used before with the dry paint, um, and then I wipe them with a damp cloth and let them completely dry, they're perfectly fine to use again. So that is a, that is a money saver. 
even if it's a painting you don't like that you've done and the paint is completely dry, just try giving it a light sanding, wipe it dry or wipe it off, let it dry, and then you can reuse it again. Just doing the tipping process here, taking a look at the composition, cleaning off the bottom. I do like that blue, the dark blue line that you see there running across the canvas. Another quick torch. Here I decide I'm going to add a little bit more uh, interest to this painting. So I did take that dark blue, and I believe that is, let me find that. That's the Payne's Gray and the Prussian Blue, I believe. And now I'm taking, it's called a Puffy 2000, and I'm just blowing that line out, giving that a little more interest. Adding another dark blue line here. And I do apologize for the glare there from my light. And there's that Puffy 2000. And I'm pretty sure I bought that off of Amazon. By the way, this is sped up about two and a half times the normal speed, just so you wouldn't have to watch all of the laying of the paint and here I'm using this is the um, let's see that was the folk art color shift aqua flash I added there and just taking my skewer and running it through and again down down in this area just making it a little wiggly line Now I, I want to tip a little bit just to incorporate those lines I just added so they look more natural like they've been there the whole time rather than adding them later on. I decided to get, again go over that blue line. It got swallowed up a little bit with some of that green. Blowing it out a little bit there. And now I'm using a marble just to do a little marble roll on there again to give it a little more interest. It's kind of amazing the effects you can get by just using a simple marble. And there I let the marble run off. And place it again. Just having fun here today with this painting. Just running it through those lines I added to break them up. Okay, taking a look at it here. Giving it a quick torch and we'll get you down for a close-up. Okay, everybody let's get you down for a close-up and here I'm trying to show you the whole painting again this is a 12 by 24 inch and it's just an open dirty cup pour with a marble roll this is the upper left hand corner you can see where I did do some of the marble rolls there 
And here's where I added those lines and blew them out. I will list all the colors again in the description. And here off camera, what I did is I took that, um, the Puffy 2000, I think it's called, and I blew down deep to bring up some of the base coat like that, just to give it a little more interest there. I felt that area was a little bit too plain, so that's what I did in a few places. interesting painting this is a nice area right here where there was the marble roll and here again I blew out in this area to bring up a little bit of the base coat I really like that contrast, that really deep blue there with the green. And again, I did use the mix with all these paints. And this is the upper right hand corner here. Again, you can see where I Blue a little bit with the Puffy 2000 to bring up a little bit of the bait, the black base coat. Just going down the right hand side. And this is the uh, bottom right hand corner here. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. I want to thank you for watching today. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so to help my channel grow. Until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.